गुड मॉर्निंग देर आर टू अप्रोचेज फॉर पैरामीटर एस्टिमेशन वन अप्रोच इज फ्रिक्वेंट टेस्ट अप्रोच वन एग्जाम्पल इज मैक्सिमम लाइवलीहुड मेथड एंड अनदर अप्रोच इज बेसियन अप्रोच सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन यूज बेसियन मेथड to estimate the parameter of any given model so let's say we have bayes theorem that can be written something like this so probability of theta given the data is equals to probability of data given theta times probability of theta divided by probability of data so in this case we have theta that is my parameter and epsilon is the data so this is prior and this is likelihood and this function is posterior distribution so basically we can write bayes theorem as posterior is equals to prior times likelihood now let's say my parameter theta is a continuous random variable so we have theta as continuous random variable so this means theta can be described by a pdf so let's say on the x axis we have random variable theta and on the y axis we have corresponding probability density function And let's say this denote PDF for theta. So we can basically find probability that theta lies between theta and theta plus delta theta. So in that case, this area will denote that probability. So basically, we can write probability that random variable theta. lies between theta and theta plus delta theta and this is nothing but this area and this area we can assume this is a very a small so we can assume ordinate is constant and that is f theta and then we have to multiply it by delta theta so this is the corresponding probability so in short if i represent all this with simply theta so we can write phi theta, theta is equals to f theta times delta theta so this we will have similarly so this is for prior similarly for posterior we can write phi theta given the data in terms of corresponding pdf p theta given the data times delta theta so this is corresponding to posterior distribution so this is for posterior so now we can modify my bayes theorem that is equation 1 so we can plug these two values in equation 1 and then we can see how the bayes theorem looks like so we can plug these two values let's call a and this is b so we can plug a and b in equation 1 so we will have f theta given epsilon times delta theta is equals to p epsilon given theta times f theta delta theta 
divided by p epsilon so you see both side we have this term that is delta theta so we can cancel and we can write p theta given epsilon is equals to p epsilon given theta times f theta divided by p epsilon so now let us focus on two more terms that is likelihood and normalization constant so we have to write these two terms in terms of pdf so we have to write this likelihood and normalization constant in terms of pdf so let's say epsilon that is a data vector is set of x1 x2 and xn are observed during an experiment so now i know my data vector and this is also a coming from a random variable so corresponding random variable is x so x is the random variable so we can basically so using a pdf so on the x axis we have this random variable on the y axis we have corresponding pdf and this is my corresponding pdf so here i will have x1 x2 and xn so question is what is the probability of observing a particular set of value so what is the probability of observing x1 x2 xn so this set of value if i have what is the probability of observing this so now see for any xi so let's call this is xi this is x2 so we can go here and we can find corresponding pdf value is fxi so we can say i can take a rectangle in the neighborhood of distance delta x and the corresponding probability will be f x i times delta x now all these events will be independent so i can multiply all these events that will give me the total probability of getting this data set so i is equals to 1 to n and this will give me the probability of data given the modal parameter theta so this is my likelihood so basically we have written my likelihood function in terms of pdf now let us write that is normalization constant p epsilon in terms of pdf so we can write using total probability and conditional rule that is p epsilon is equals to summation of p epsilon given theta times p theta and this can be written as epsilon a summation in this case so this is summation p epsilon given theta and p theta if you remember is nothing but f theta d theta that is delta theta and then we have also written this in terms of pdf so we can write and this is nothing but the same thing that we just derived so we will have pi i is equals to 1 to n so the product of f x i given theta times delta x and this multiplied by f theta delta theta 
if I have a continuous variable in that case this summation becomes integration so we can write delta theta as d theta so in limiting case of parameter that is delta theta tends to 0 I can write same equation this becomes integration now so this is this summation is becoming integration f x i given theta times delta x and f theta d theta so this is what we have now we have expression for prior likelihood and posterior and this we all can put into this base theorem equation that we have here so this is modified equation this is equation 2 so let's call this is equation 2 so we can plug this value of p epsilon and p epsilon given theta into this equation and then we can write everything in terms of pdf so let us plug the value of likelihood function and prior in terms of uh, f theta or f in terms of pdf so if i plug likelihood and posterior a uh, likelihood and uh, uh, prior then i can write posterior something like this i is equals to 1 to n f x i given theta times delta x f theta and this divided by this integration that is normalization constant i is equals to 1 to n f x i given theta multiplied by delta x and f x delta theta so this is d theta so now we will have this delta theta and delta theta gets cancelled so i will have product i is equals to 1 to n f x i delta theta x i given theta times f theta and this divided by summation or integration minus infinity to infinity i is equals to 1 to n f x i given theta and f x d theta so denominator this term is the normalization constant so we can write a normalization constant k i is equals to 1 to n f x i given theta f x times d theta so where k is the normalization constant so we can write basically uh, this base equation or base theorem in terms of continuous random variable in terms of pdf that is p of theta given epsilon is equals to k times and this is what we have this is product of i is equals to 1 to n f x i given theta multiplied by f theta so this is my prior and this is my uh, product of all this f x i given theta that is the likelihood so this function is likelihood and this is prior and this is posterior so this you will have when you have a continuous case so note that this likelihood function is same as the likelihood function that we derived in maximum likelihood so this likelihood function is same as so corresponding to maximum likelihood that is the frequentist approach so this is same as maximum likelihood approach
So if you remember at that point of time when we were discussing maximum likelihood, the likelihood function was product of i1 to n f x i and given theta. So this is the likelihood function in same in case of maximum likelihood approach that is frequentist approach or Bayesian approach. So either we use frequentist approach or we use Bayesian approach. In both case we have to deal with same likelihood function. Now if you see a special case when my prior is diffuse any form diffuse or uniform that is let's say theta is here and f theta is here my prior is almost constant so in that case we can say f theta is constant so in this formulation we can put this prior is constant this is another constant so we'll have only the likelihood function now this means if you maximize this function then this will give me the same result that we are getting from a uh, maximum likelihood approach so this means i can say mode of the posterior distribution is same as maximum likelihood estimator so what I'm saying, if you see posterior distribution, this is a function. Posterior distribution. So this is a function of P of F of theta given the data. And here I have theta. So if my prior is uniform or constant, the mode of this, that the maximum value of this is same as the maximum likelihood estimator. So you see, we can say in case of diffuse prior, mode of posterior distribution is same as the maximum likelihood estimator. So in this class basically we discussed how we can use Bayes theorem when we have a continuous random variable or continuous parameter and then we can use Bayes rule to estimate the posterior distribution of parameter and in a special case when my prior is diffused or uniform the mode of posterior distribution is same as the maximum likelihood estimator. So we can stop here and the next class we will discuss more about Bayesian method.